and welcome back to another video. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and the all notification bell to the right hand side. Today's video I'm making for everybody out there to tell them how I got my eBay business going and I did it with only a hundred dollars. After about nine months, I amassed about over ten thousand dollars, almost eleven thousand dollars in products to sell on eBay. Now I did have my own store and I paid $19.95 for the basic store. And I ran that for about a year and a half. And just recently, about six months ago, I closed the store down. And the reason why I did that was because of the shipping prices going up and things like that. I did make money on eBay, but not a big profit. I made some money, but not a great big profit because most of the items I was selling was small eBay as we know it and USPS has changed a lot and a lot of the prices are going up with USPS. So it's cutting into these small business people's profit. And that's one thing I wanna talk about and I wanna show you what I bought, what I bought to sell on eBay and online. Now I strictly sell on Facebook Marketplace. And the reason why I do that is because for one, I don't have to pay the $19.95 a month for the eBay basic store. For two, they don't charge insertion fees. They only charge you one fee. And that is when you sell the item, they charge you a certain fee and it's a lot less than eBay. Another thing is they push your items out there to get them to sell. Sometimes you get more clicks than you would on eBay for an item that you post if you use the right keywords. Um, but I would make more profit on Facebook Marketplace than I would on eBay. So I started selling on Facebook Marketplace. eBay, basically USPS, is the ones that are hurting the small sellers on eBay. It's cutting into the profits. And a lot of people, a lot of the small sellers are going to stop selling on eBay because it's just not worth it anymore. So keep that in mind with Facebook Marketplace. You could sell on Facebook Marketplace and you could sell locally with no fees, have the person pick up the item or deliver the item to the person you just wanna take safety measures. I do have videos on taking safety measures when doing a Facebook deal. If you wanna see them, go back in my older videos. Or they have where you can ship the item. Now there, there is one thing about Facebook Marketplace and that is you cannot ship all items when you post an item for sale, it will tell you whether you could ship it or not. If you cannot ship the item that you're posting on Facebook Marketplace, try a different category because the other category you might be able to ship in. So keep that in mind. Um, when I started eBay a couple of years ago, I used $100 and I started ordering products from AliExpress. If you don't know what they are, it's a Chinese company. I started ordering products from them. This is by no way is promoting them or paid, you know, ad for them, anything like that. Um, I stopped doing AliExpress, of course, and started ordering products from Amazon to make myself to sell online. Now you might say, why did you make your own products to sell online? Well, that is because I live in a town I live in Rome, New York, which is about an hour and a half from Syracuse, New York. Um, if you don't know, Syracuse is a big town. There is a couple people that live in Syracuse, New York. Emily Conway that does YouTube. She lives in Syracuse, New York and gets a lot of her products from their stores, estate sales and things like that. Primetime Treasure Hunter, he also lives in Syracuse. And he gets a lot of his product from Facebook deals, garage sales, church sales, and things like that. They have that option out there in Syracuse. I live an hour and a half from them. I live in Rome, New York. We only have one thrift store. And in the summertime, hardly no garage sales. So I couldn't source my own product. So I came up with the idea to make my own products. And I'm a guy, I never thought I would be making jewelry products but I did and I was happy doing it. It kept me busy, it kept my mind off of things and it made me happy to make jewelry for other people. So I started ordering my things online for um, my business and to sell on eBay and to put together and to make. 
One of the things that I used to order on Amazon, and these are 50 bracelets right here, as you can see. These are 50 Bengal silver bracelets. They are adjustable. There's 50 in a pack, and they were $11 and something cents for 50 of these. So very cheap to buy. Um, you're only talking cents per bracelet. Again, they were $11 and something cents for 50 bracelets. That means I can make 50 bracelets out of this one package. I ordered these from Amazon and you can get them. You want to do your research if you're going to order these from Amazon, a pack of 50. You want to make sure that you're getting a pack of 50 and you want to make sure you're getting the lowest price. There are some lower prices than others. Some of them on Amazon, they sell 40 for the same price but they will sell 50 for a lesser price. So you want to keep your eye on that. If you're going to make jewelry, even if you're a guy, you could try to make jewelry and make profit online. It's very fun. It's very entertaining and keeps your mind off of things. But this is one of the things I made to use or bought to use to make bracelets. The other thing that I would get from Amazon is these little pendants. Now this would be a guy pendant. It is a anchor from a ship, and what you would do is you would put a picture in here of anything that you wanted, maybe a football team, maybe their pet dog, whatever the case may be. If you wanted to do personalized jewelry um, with like their kids or their pet dog, you could do that too. Of course, you would want to charge more money if you're doing personal jewelry because of the simple fact is it would cost more to make. Um, but anyways, you would use a printer to print out pictures. And if you were printing out round pictures like this to fit in a picture frame, say you wanted to put Spider-Man in this necklace, you could put 50 round circles on one page of printer paper, photo paper, 50 of them. Okay, so you can make 50 bracelets or 50 necklaces, Spider-Man necklaces, and with one sheet of photo paper. 50 different bracelets. So that is pretty cheap to do. Now, of course, you're going to have to find out the program to use. You can use Luna Pick. You can use Monk Picky, Monk Picky or whatever the hell you call it um, to print out your pictures and stuff like that. They do have templates that you can also use to make it easier on you. You just have to research, do your research, Figure out the sizes and what sizes you have to make. You're going to have to adjust the pictures. And of course, you're going to have to make the pictures round to fit into this um, anchor pendant. But you can do it if I could do it. Another thing that I may or bought to put on my bracelets was these little heart pendants. And basically, this heart pendant says love between mother and daughter is forever. What I would do is hook this to one of the silver bracelets and then I would put another little tiny heart next to this heart and I would sell these on eBay, um, the bracelets on eBay. And I also had little pendants that would say, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. I would also put those on the bracelets. Um, it is cheaper to buy the bracelets separately. It's cheaper to buy the products like this separately it's cheaper to buy the pendants separately and then put them all together there are places where you can get the whole bracelet together but it's going to cost you more money okay they sell these on the aliexpress um they sell them already made but they're going to cost you two dollars and something cents versus 60 cents to make a bracelet so keep that in mind now, it don't have to necessarily be jewelry or something like that that you make. It could be anything. If you're a crafty person or you know how to make wreaths or um, flower things or um, whatever the case may be, if you are an arts and crafty person, you can make things. Um, I know a lady that makes things with the Cricut machine. If you can make things with a Cricut machine, um, this one lady on YouTube, she makes like these cardboard grills that have different emblems on them, like different football teams, Green Bay Packers and things like that. She makes with her cricket machine and she sells them live on YouTube auctions and she also sells them online. If you're a crafty person, you can do something like that. Another thing that I did 
was making wall clocks. This wall clock right here is a Mario and Yoshi wall clock. What I would do is I would buy clocks like this and I would take the insert out and insert my own picture into the clock and resell them online. Now you might be saying, well, why would you buy a whole clock and then take the picture out and insert another picture? Wouldn't that be expensive? Well, no, it's not. These clocks are pretty cheap to get. And as you can see the inside, the metal pieces, the clock mechanism in the back, as you can see, it's got a clock mechanism. If you bought that mechanism, mechanism alone, it would be five dollars and something cents six dollars just for the mechanism and it cost me less to get this whole clock take it apart redo the insert to what i want in there or what somebody else wants in there it was a lot cheaper to do that these are great black black plastic very hard plastic glass top and takes one aa battery um, and I also did clocks with Chucky on them. I love horror movies and they didn't sell a lot of these on eBay, but I did because I was making them for different people. I made Chucky clocks. I made Michael Myers clocks, Freddy versus Jason clocks. And again, I did the same thing with the inserts, took them out, put my own inserts in. If you look on Google, they have all the graphs and the things that you need to make a clock like this. They have the number dials that are basically see-through and things like that. You could change the color on the name, number dials and things like that, of course, change the picture up. And they do have programs where you can make a round picture like this. They have free programs online that you could do it on. Now, do you have to do exactly this? No, you don't. But if you want to make some money, this is a good profit to make money. Most pictures that you get online, you can make other pictures too for people like with their pets or whatever the case may be. Or you could just make um, clocks with pictures on them of pets that you find online or football clocks. Um, the only thing that you want to make sure of is that you use the right images and you don't get copyrighted ebay is big on copyright restrictions and things like that there are certain clocks that you cannot make like this on your own one of them being wwe if you make a wwe clock or even if you make a clock with john cena on it or triple h or a stone cold your listing on ebay will be taken down and probably on facebook marketplace also it will be taken down WWE owns their own rights and they own the wrestlers. People might not know that, but they own the wrestlers. Triple H, they own his name. So you cannot make WWE clocks out of a clock like this and sell it online for a profit. That is a no-no. They do have copyright restrictions. They will take it down. Another thing that you don't want to make clocks of, I made a clock, a Fortnite clock. Because as we all know, Fortnite became a big thing. It was big among gamers, Fortnite. And Fortnite, a lot of people still play. Well, I made a Fortnite clock and it got taken down for copyright restrictions off of eBay. I did contact the Fortnite creators and talk to them. And they said that while they appreciate me enjoying the game and things like that, um, I was not authorized to sell um, their images. So eBay took down my listen on the Fortnite clock. So you have to watch what you're putting on a clock. If it's very copyrighted, you do not want to put it on the clock, okay? Now, I've never had a problem with Chucky clocks or Freddy clocks or Michael Myers clocks or it clocks. I make Annabelle clocks. I never had problems with those, okay? You can also make football clocks. They do have certain pictures on eBay and the pictures of the um, helmets, like cowboy helmets, um, Buffalo Bill helmets, things like that, that look like car cartoonish, not the real helmets, but cartoonish that you can get. If you go and you search 
football helmets. You can see the cartoonish ones, and you can actually make clocks out of those. What you would do is you would just make the round circle, of course, with the team in the middle. And then, of course, you would have your dial around it that you would lay over to make the clock. These are black plastic, hard plastic, and glass top. You would have to find some place to buy these that is pretty cheap where you can flip it online for a profit, okay? Um, you can find these um, in a, a bunch of different places. You just got to find out what's going to be cheaper for you and how much profit you're going to make off of each one. But that's what I did with my eBay business and how I amassed over $10,000 in um, products on eBay with jewelry, bracelets, necklaces. Um, I did Mario clocks. I did horror movie clocks, frozen clocks, all kinds of things I did and made myself. And I made a pretty good profit off of it. But with shipping charges and everything going up now with the USPS, we all know it's getting to be very, very hectic on smaller sellers. Now, the jewelry that I made, I did make money off of, but I didn't make a lot off of. And as we know, the USPS is raising prices, and now they're supposed to raise prices two times a year, and it is killing small resellers. Um, a lot of small resellers have stopped. I stopped eBay, got rid of my store six months ago, and I've been doing Facebook Marketplace. And I can tell you, I make more money on Facebook Marketplace because of the simple fact is Facebook Marketplace doesn't charge you a store fee of $19.95 a month. And you can list as many products you want on Facebook Marketplace for sale. Sometimes you could do um, local pickup where you would meet the person in person or they would pick up the item from you or you could do shipping your item. Now keep in mind on Facebook Marketplace, they don't allow you to ship every item. Once you go to a Facebook Marketplace, you place your ad for whatever you got for sale. It will tell you if you are allowed to ship that item or not in that category. Now, if you're using a certain category, like my clocks that I use, I push home decker, decker and then I push clocks. And it says that my item is, be a, is being able to be shipped. So I can ship these on Facebook Marketplace. If you pick a category and you cannot ship in that category, just try a different category and you might be able to ship your item. They only charge one final value fee and it's a lot cheaper than eBay or other selling platforms. And you make more dollar for profit in your pocket. So keep that in mind. Go check out Facebook Marketplace. I am going to be making a video about Facebook Marketplace and how you can get more clicks on your items for sale because it does matter how many clicks you get on your items when you post an item in the Facebook Marketplace and how fast it sells. And keywords also mean something on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm going to be making a video about that. I will probably post that the day after tomorrow. This video is going up tomorrow, and I hope you have a good time reselling. And remember, if you cannot source your products or buy your products from garage sales, estate sales, whatever the case may be, you can make your own if you're a crafty person. Come up with an idea to start your own business. It's great to have your own business, and it's, even if you're not doing it full time, if you're just doing it to substitute income, it's great to do and um you have a great feeling running your own business and having your own business um like i said i made jewelry and it took my mind off a lot of things it kept me busy and i make the clocks and that makes me very happy to make the clocks and put them together and send them out to people so keep in mind you don't have to source your products from out where you can make your own products it doesn't have to be jewelry it doesn't have to be clocks it could be anything you want and anything that you are crafty at even if you're a wood crafter a wood crafter would be great for facebook marketplace to sell your wood pieces they sell pretty good on facebook marketplace see you in my next video